As anybody who has ever seen my site knows, it is a 3D YouTube site. And the video that you're currently watching is currently in 3D as well. Viewable by using the blue amber glasses that were given away uh, last January as part of uh, NBC's Super Bowl uh, 3D promotion. Uh, with these glasses, you were able to see ads for Monsters vs. Aliens as well as the Sobe ad and even an episode of Chuck in 3D. What I'm going to show you how to do today is how to take a right and a left hand side uh, video and combine them and uh, make them into the type of a video that you're currently seeing now. Not only that, I will also show uh, using the same type of software, all freeware by the way, the same type of software to make the red blue glasses and the uh, uh, green magenta glasses that were given away with the Journey to the Center of the Earth uh, DVD. Just a couple things that we need to know here doing 3D video. We need to know about the equipment for 3D video, such as cameras and tripods you use, the 3D video syncing and editing that you can use a non-linear editing program for, converting video into 3D, which we'll be talking about today, and the best types of files for 3D video, such as converting to YouTube or for a DVD. The thing we're going to be talking though about today is converting video into 3D using different freeware programs. Before getting started, I must mention about the Huffy UV codec. It's a lossless codec. You'll need to download it from the site that I do reference there. It will give you lossless files about half the size of a non-compressed uh, Windows file. After downloading it, you'll need to press the Huffy UV uh, int file, uh, select on that, and it should install for you. Our main video editing program we're going to be using for this is called Virtual Dub. You'll need to go to the Virtual Dub website and then uh, download from SourceForge. Pick the correct link to, for the mirrors to download from and then download to your system. Be mindful of where you put it on your computer. Virtual Dub uses a, a scripting program called AVI Synth to further process video uh, like it would just a normal video file. You just need to download uh, AVI Synth, the most recent edition here is 2.5.8 from the download section. You want to pick the very top one, the, the one that says the EXE file, and then download to the computer. Finally, you'll need a plugin for Virtual Dub called Interlaced RGB. This one is uh, known as point .3. And just uh, press the download button to uh, get that. And once you download it, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into your plugins directory of, of virtual dub and just unzip all the files from the uh, interlace RGB into that folder. Next you'll need to open up an instance of notepad. With this notepad you'll just need to type in these lines. The first line it will reference the left hand side video, preferably the one that maybe you would set on the C drive. You can always modify it to use the directory of your choosing. The next line, it does uh, refer to the right-hand side video. Uh, one thing I have to mention with this is that you'll want to make sure that these videos are saved into a, a movie-making program using the Huffy UV uh, codec. You cannot use DV camera type files in virtual dub. The last line says stack horizontal. And basically all this is doing is putting the video side by side left and right just as you would no normally associate them and it'll make it a very useful for virtual dub. We're going to save this as uh, test3d and the uh, extension is AVS. Now we're putting it into like a, a folder of its own just for the sake uh, of uh, easily being able to see where you can find the file when you're using virtual dub. We open up virtual dub parts the file, say open video file, and we will reference that test3d AVS file. Now in doing that, it's going to blow up this on the screen, so we'll want to reduce both images, the preview images and the rendering images there, to be like 50%. Then we'll go into the filter section, and we'll say add, and then we'll go down to it says uh, deinterlace. 
and then we'll go down all the way to the bottom where it says fold side by side fields together and then press OK. Then we'll say add again. Now, we'll, now we're going to be using the interlaced RGB filter that we were using before. This first instance all it's going to do is make a black and white rendering of our blue field. So in odd lines make a check mark in that RGB add 2Y field. We're going to go ahead and go back into that do another interlaced RGB and this time in the clone fields, in the even lines, we're going to choose red and green. And in the odd lines, we're going to choose blue. And finally, we're going to go down to where it says resize. And because we're using uh, 720 by 480 files, we're going to combine that into just one single 720 by 480 file. So it's going to uh, scrunch both of those pictures uh, in. And when it does that, if you scrub along the timeline there, voila, you've got a 3D video there. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and reduce um, the very top one you know, as much as we can there. And then enlarge the big one there so that we can see the, the work that we're going to be doing with the assignment. So you can basically look at those through the color code uh, Super, Super Bowl tight glasses and it should be coming in, in 3D for you. Now, my apologies with this, it's... the images actually do, don't line up as they should. I'm sure that when we show different things you can get the general idea, especially when it shows the birdhouses. Okay, now I'm going to show you something really cool. Go back into the filters. Uh, once again, choose that uh, first one we made in black and white. And instead, in the even lines, choose the uh, RGB 2Y. Then go into the other uh, interlaced RGB filter there and configure it. And we're going to be uh, placing green and blue in the odd line clone and red in the even line clone. We're going to scrub a little bit. And now the video should be compliant with red and blue glasses. So if you got a pair of those red and blue glasses, you can take a look at those birdhouses and they should come out in 3D for you. Finally, I mentioned about the journey to sunny the earth. Okay, so we're going to go back into the filters here. We're going to, uh, we're going to keep the top interlaced uh, filter as the same. In the even line clone, we're going to choose green. In the all line clone, we're going to choose red and blue. We're going to press OK. Everything else remains the same. We press OK. And then once we scrub uh, the scene a little bit, Poof! If you have the Journey to the Center of the Earth or uh, My Bloody Valentine uh, 3D glasses, you'll be able to see that those birdhouses in 3D. So now you've got like three different options for three different type, types of colored glasses that you can do 3D in by using a left and a right uh, video there. Seeing that we are going to be doing this for the color code glasses, we're going to go into filters. We're going to change the top one uh, back to where we had it before, uh, changing the, the RGB 2Y to the bottom uh, odd line field. Then we'll go down to the, uh, the second one. We will put in blue as the odd line clone and red and green as the even line clone. And once again, we'll, we'll scrub it. Now, the one last thing that we need to do here is we're going to have to uh, save it to a file. So under video, under compression, once again, you want to choose the Huffy UV codec and in file, you want to save as AVI and we'll just say test color code and we'll say, say that as a test color code AVI and then we'll render it. And so the last things that we'll need to do here, we'll need to uh, convert it to either a file to be used on YouTube, maybe by using H.264 or an MPEG-2 to be used uh, using DVD.